Hey, so here I am being cheeky doing a video post on a post about video posts, but um, I'm really actually interested in seeing how many of you use video posts, um, how many of you actually look at video posts, um, and what you think they do for your blog. I just started doing video posts um, a week or so ago. And before that, I never really, I wasn't interested for one thing um, in doing them, but then I, I, I had this desire to kind of reach out to my visitors on a more personal level and just kind of talk, you know, free form talking without any editing or anything, just having a conversation. Um, so I tried it and I don't know, it's kind of cool, and it's really, really easy to do with my MacBook Pro. I just look at the camera, and <laughs> that's it. Um, so I started doing more and more of them, and um, I'm interested now in looking at other people's videos because I can kind of see why they want to do them because it, it brings you closer to your visitor if that... I don't know if that makes sense. I mean, it, it sounds kind of strange because I'm already really personal on my blogs. I mean, I write about me and the things that I like and the things that that my visitors like. And I, I share a lot of details about my life and situations with my visitors already. But doing a video is, it's, it, I mean, it it's different because it makes you you have your, your face out there. I mean, you're actually talking and you're, it's like you're having a conversation, even though you're not, it's a one way conversation until people start leaving comments or whatever. But, um, anyway, I've started to really get into it and I, I'm really enjoying it. I just wonder, and, and I know I'm really late to the game. Everybody's doing video blogs, but it seems like they're not doing, they're, they're doing videos of other people. I guess, as opposed to videos of themselves talking like like they would just do a blog post, you know, doing interviews, um, visits to showrooms during fashion week, that kind of stuff. Um, that's been going on for a long time. And um, I'm just now kind of catching up to, to doing that kind of stuff. I don't know if I'll do interviews. I, you know, honestly, I really don't like interviews. I'm not it's like when I go to a museum, I don't ever want to listen to the recording because I want to make my own. I want to look at the art and I want to appreciate it. I want to interpret it my own way. I want to appreciate it for what it is. I don't want to know what the artist was thinking necessarily or whatever. I just wanted to do it my own way. And that's kind of why I don't like to read designer interviews or look at designer interviews. I mean, I like to appreciate the designs for the design's sake. Um, sometimes it's nice to, you know, kind of the history behind it or the story or whatever, but I don't know, that's just me. But I know a lot of people like that kind of stuff. And those of you who do interviews, I mean, do you really feel like that enhances your blog? Do people look at the videos? Do they comment on the videos? And you know, overall, do doing video posts really make a difference in, in the amount of engagement that you have with your visitors. Do you get more engagement with a video post than you do a regular text post? Or can you really tell a difference? Um, that's all the kind of stuff I'm, I'm interested in knowing from you guys. I mean, those of you who do it, those of you who don't do it, why don't you do it? Um, do you think you'll do it in the future? Or you're just it's just not something that you're interested in? Um, those of you who do do it, how long have you been doing it? How do you do it? Do you use a little video camera? I have a flip video camera too that um, I used in a favorite things post that I did for Gretchen's Closet last week, but this is so much easier. I mean, if I have to go out or whatever, I'll take the flip camera, but using my computer and just talking into it is way easier, and then you just can upload it straight to YouTube and voila. I mean, it's it can't even get any easier than that. But um, anyway, that's I, that's what I'm interested in. I just want to know what you guys think. <laughs> if anybody is actually watching the video <laughs> right now, um, and how you think that affects your blog, and do you think it's necessary to do videos? I mean, it's it's the age of 
of web 2.0 and social media and whatever, and video is a huge component of that, or so they say. Um, do you really feel like that? Do you feel like you're missing out because you're not doing video? Do you feel like your blog is suffering because you're not doing video? Or do you think it's just something, is video just something fun, just an extra fun thing to do for your visitors? Um, anyway, I, you know, I'm really looking forward to the comments and hearing what you have to say about it. Um, I hope it can kind of help everybody, me included, figure out, you know, the direction that we want video to go on our blogs. But I think for me, video is here to stay. I just have to figure out what else I want to do with it besides just talking about myself. <laughs> anyway, thanks so much for watching and please leave a comment and let me know what you think. Bye.